well. It looks like the excrement is hitting the wall full force in the land of Dr. Woke over the past few days. The rumor goes that Chibs has finally managed to get himself fired and the final nail in the coffin was arguing with BBC execs over a female Dalek that apparently looked ridiculous and would only further the crash of Doctor Who merchandise sales. I guess this might have been the final screw up after two years of crapping all over this now dead franchise. Of course, it was the BBC's own diversity and inclusion strategy that led to this, but I tend to think not everyone at the BBC is a woke moron. Keeping in mind that the BBC has only turned into a woke nightmare since about 2013. It was regressive before that, but nothing compared to what it is now. Could it be that some execs that predate this calamity have come to the realization that Chibs and friends have completely and utterly destroyed this franchise? The rumor goes that after Chibs the idiot was canned, Whitaker stormed off set and quit. But as she's on contract, she had no choice but to come back and film a regeneration sequence. This rumor also has Michael Sheen in talks with the BBC to become the 14th Doctor, and that the BBC is also in talks with Neil Gaiman to take over as showrunner. The Michael Sheen rumor has already been floating around for a while. If it is true, then this was most certainly brought on by the few non-woke, non-diversity hire execs left at the BBC. The Sheen and Gaiman rumors might seem a bit outlandish, but they make sense if you really think about it. The damage that Chris Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker have done to the Doctor Who brand might be irreparable. The only way of salvaging this mess is to pull out all the stops. Michael Sheen is perfect casting for the Doctor, and the chemistry he had with David Tennant in the Neil Gaiman-produced Good Omens on Amazon Prime earlier this year was nothing short of perfection. With Sheen, Gaiman, and the expulsion of all woke garbage from the program, and the return of competent script writers that actually know what the hell they're doing, there might be a possibility that Doctor Who could make a comeback. The bottom line though is that we still have no clear confirmation one way or the other as of the making of this video. Of course, the show media will be going into overdrive trying to deny this rumor without any clear evidence themselves, as evidenced by this article from the woke morons at Radio Times. Doctor Who departure rumors branded nonsense by insiders. Exclusive series showrunner Chris Chibnall and star Jodie Whittaker have not quit the BBC sci-fi series, according to insiders. And just who are these insiders? Moreover, the silence from the production team recently, the non-show at Comic-Con, and the silence from most involved in every era of Doctor Who prior to the woke mess that has been the Chibs era, both in front of and behind the camera, also leads one to believe that things aren't so peachy over there in Cardiff. The word shit show might be the best description of what seems to be going on over there at the moment. Rumors have swirled over the last couple of days that Doctor Who showrunner Chris Chibnall has quit the long-running BBC sci-fi series. Wrong, Radio Times! The rumor is that Chibs the Idiot managed to get himself fired. Jesus! You can't even get that right! With unsubstantiated reports also suggesting that lead actor Jodie Whittaker has departed in sympathy. Since they are the woke twins of destruction, it makes sense that Whittaker the Hateful would also leave at the same time. But wokeness doesn't protect her from the career-ending ramifications of abandoning a contract before the series has finished filming. As for unsubstantiated Unsubstantiated reports. How about your unsubstantiated report that this rumor isn't true? However, RadioTimes.com now understands that there is no truth in the speculation about Chibnall and or Whitaker departures. Oh, you do? Well then, let's take a look at your hard evidence. With show insiders... Again, which insiders? If this isn't true, then why no official statement, as of this recording, from the BBC? Bewildered by false rumors. Bewildered is how these woke dumbasses spend most of their lives. That they bear little resemblance resemblance to the reality of Series 12 filming. Little resemblance? If you were trying to deny these rumors, then shouldn't you say, bearing no resemblance? This is total nonsense, a well-placed Doctor Who source told RadioTimes.com. Well-placed? Well, that sure sounds like a concrete denial to me. This has originated and spread through the online rumor mill. Kind of like your mystery sources. Apparently, the new rumors originated on a popular Doctor Who message board before being spread on social media platforms, with many fans anticipating an official announcement about either Chibnall or Whitaker's departure imminently, while also speculating about which other regular writers could be stepping in to take over. I would like to point out that the originators of this rumor have their own insiders within the BBC and the Doctor Who production office, and they have also made it clear that it's just in rumor territory, but 
I guess the all-knowing, all-seeing Radio Times word from its own mystery sources is now a fact. However, many others pointed out the unlikely nature of the longtime Doctor Who writer departing the showrunner position mid-series. Unless the showrunner got his ass fired mid-series, while well, some noted that similar rumors relating to Chibnall's exit have been suggested and disproven on more than one occasion since he took over the job in 2017. That rumor, which I reported on myself, involved Chibs and Whitaker stepping down after series 12, a rumor that to this day has never received an official denial. As it stands, both Chibnall and Whitaker are set to continue filming series 12 in the coming weeks and months. Well, we know one of them has no choice, but I'm not sure about the other one, though exactly what they're shooting is a bit of a mystery. We have a pretty good idea of what kind of woke crap they planned on shooting, apart from the return of the rhino-like Jadoon forced upon them by the BBC and hints of a wartime France episode, a woke episode along the lines of Rosa, little to no information has been shared about whether the 13th Doctor and her friends, played by Bradley Walsh, Mandeep Gill, and Tozen Cole, will go in the eagerly awaited new episodes. Well, that's definitely a lie. Nobody is eagerly awaiting anything from Series 12. Wherever they do go, though, one thing's for sure. The team aren't going their separate ways just yet. So says the Radio Times with their mystery sources. Honestly, Radio Times, Considering your shill media access, one would think you would be able to get a more definitive denial than this pathetic article. In closing, unlike Radio Times, I reiterate that this is still in rumor territory, and we don't know for sure one way or the other. But what is clear is that every true Doctor Who fan is holding their breath, hoping to hell that this is true, and that the Chibs Whitaker nightmare will soon be over, and that Doctor Who can somehow be able to recover from this mess. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is deleting subscribers and follow me on Twitter. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have a great day.